Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back. Today, we are not at theme park, we're not at Universal, not at Disney, but we are at Reptile World Serpentarium. This is in St. Cloud, Florida. It's about 25 minute drive away from Disney World. If you know me and you have been on my channel for a long time, you will know that actually my highest viewed video ever was right here, Reptile World Serpentarium. It has like 2.5 million views, something like that. Something, something crazy, a lot, a lot of views. So a lot of people like that video and I'm back for the first time in like five years. I think that video was like five years ago. So I'm back. This video is going to have a lot of different snakes, alligators. So if you're scared of snakes and you don't want to see snakes get their venom extracted, if you don't want to see snakes, this video might not be for you. But for everybody else, it's going to be a fun time. So everything is housed inside of this building. There's a, there's a few things in the back from what I remember. And they do venom shows twice per day, once at noon and once at 3 p.m. They are closed on Mondays. And it is this exhibit is open from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. And the price for admission is $11.75 for adults. And so the first thing that we see when we come inside here is like a little gift shop. They do have some things that you can buy. And they also do have a couple animals in here. Like right here. I think this is like a, a bearded dragon. And this little gift shop is the place to come if you want to buy any cool little souvenirs or to see some cool animals like this bird. This is this is Ruby and you better be careful because she bites and she's kind of loud. She was screaming a little bit earlier. She's looking at me she's like she wants to hurt me. I'm, I'm a friend, I promise. Looking at me sideways. <laughs> she wants to say hi, but she's kind of scary. Oh, she's very vicious. Oh, she's saying hi, she wants to get a handshake. I don't know about that, Ruby. You got some large talons. And then we come outside into this area and this is this is the turtle pond check out all these turtles and so the main thing that this zoo is really known for is their venomous snake venom extraction that they do right over here in this glass window we're gonna come over here at three o'clock which is the last show they do shows twice per day like i said but we're gonna get to see a uh, very professional snake handler handles some venomous snakes, extract their venom to make anti-venom. So when a person really does get bit outside, they will have the cure for that bite. Are you guys a little bit nicer than Ruby in there? I still hear Ruby all the way out here. You guys seem a little bit nicer. Hi. There's no warning that you bite. Hello? Hello. This guy has a Tegu and actually I believe that uh they just said that you cannot own any tegus or iguanas in florida because of how invasive they are especially down in the everglades these guys if they escape they'll just start multiplying and take over just like the burmese python did in the florida everglades the burmese python is everywhere now the third largest snake in the world i believe and it's all because people had them as pets or they escaped from pet stores and i believe after like hurricane andrew or something they just started multiplying like crazy so do you guys know the difference between a turtle and a tortoise turtles live in and around water while tortoises don't oh man look what we got here this is this is pete this is what this is a guy that you'll find right here in florida in the swamps and the rivers the lakes and he got his little girlfriend back there that's that's lupita pete pete pete's coming Pete is somebody that you definitely do not want to mess with, but let me show you someone probably even more dangerous than Pete. Over here, we've got Nile crocodiles. This one is not very big, but Nile crocodiles are very, very dangerous. Crocodiles in general are usually uh, bigger and more aggressive than alligators, I believe. Um, you can tell the difference between a crocodile and alligator by the shape of their snout. Uh, crocodiles have like a V shape, alligators have like a U shape. And now it's time to head into the area with the snakes. Uh, most of the reptiles and snakes in here are gonna be venomous. Like right here we got a king cobra. I don't see them, but I'm sure we can find some other snakes. Oh, an Asian water monitor. This guy's non-venomous though. And guys right here we have the reticulated python. This is actually the longest snake in the world. The anaconda is the largest by weight, but reticulated python, this is the longest. And here's our first venomous snake. This is the 
banded Egyptian cobra. And fun fact, this is the snake that was supposedly the one to kill Cleopatra. This guy's cool to me. It looks so like dark and mysterious. This is a black spitting cobra. Imagine just getting some venom spit directly at your eyes. Let me know, are you guys afraid of snakes? I know a lot of people are afraid of snakes. Me, I actually love snakes. I love all animals, but snakes to me are really cool. I'm not scared of them. I've held many snakes before in like zoos and places that you can hold them, as well as the wild. Never venomous snakes though. And did you know that in Florida, there is a few venomous snake species. I believe there's five. There's the rattlesnake, there is the coral snake, which I believe is the most venomous. There is the copperhead, the water moccasin, and then maybe I'm forgetting one more, but I can't really remember right now. But here actually is one of them. This guy is the copperhead. And guys, this might actually be the most dangerous snake in the world. This is the black mamba. They actually don't get their name from their skin color. You see like it's kind of like brownish gray. It's actually when they open their mouth, they have like a black inside of their mouth. These are the fastest venomous snake in the world and they're very aggressive. As well as having very, very, very toxic venom. And if you were wondering, this guy right here is the largest venomous snake in America. The Eastern Diamondback Rattlesnake and yes, this guy lives in Florida. Just, just imagine you're just on a walk and boom. You see this huge timber rattlesnake right in your path. Look at how fat this guy is. Him. This is one of my favorite snakes. This is the Gaboon Viper. He actually has the largest fangs of any snake in the world. Two inches. But this one is special because look, look at this snake. He has no eyes. He was born without eyes. And if you want to see the snakes that are taking over the Everglades, right here, the Burmese Python. These guys are all over the Florida Everglades. They took over, they're invasive. All right, we've seen the snakes, we've seen the animals. Now it's time to wait for the person to do the venom extraction show. So guys, these are the three snakes we're gonna collect venom from Eastern Diamondback, Coral Snake, and Monocle Cobra. said they only give one drop. Okay guys, well there you have it, the reptile world, Serpentarium here in St. Cloud, Florida. 
one of the coolest things that you can do in Florida, in my opinion, one of the coolest things I've done. Come check it out. It's only like 25 minutes from Disney World. So if you're over here visiting and you love snakes and you love reptiles, definitely come check out Reptile World Serpentarium. They've been here for 49 years, almost 50 years, and their work is to help provide uh, medicine. The venom that they get from the snakes is used as medicine in case you get bit by a snake. Uh, some venoms are used to cure certain diseases. Uh, so the work that they're doing here is really good. The guy who runs this place, uh, his last name is Van Horn, I believe. He's a really cool guy. So come check out Reptile World Serpentarium here in St. Cloud, Florida. You won't be to this point, I promise you. Like I said, show times for the venom extraction are at noon and 3 p.m. They are closed on Mondays. Come check them out. They got a website and everything. Uh, but thank you all very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, leave it a like down below. Hit the subscribe button. I want to do more videos like this where I go around Florida kind of checking out some cool animal places. I love animals. Um, let me know what you guys want to see. Like I said, thank you all very much for watching. It's kind of absolutely impossible. And I'll catch you on the next video. They like to be in charge. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs>